What's up guys, DDP here, and today we'll be going over the Survival Hunter. Uh, one of my favourite specs, provides nice single target damage and lovely AoE damage. As usual, I'll be going over the talents, glyphs, rotation, reforge, etc, etc. So let's get into it with the talents. First tier, we have Post Haste, Narrow Escape, Crouch and Tiger. Post Haste for me is probably the most beneficial as when you get that when you do that disengage you get a nice movement speed increase for 60% movement speed for 8 seconds in my opinion that is one of the best narrow escape uh, pretty much is just a pvp talent you're not going to be using your disengage just to root adds in a fight or something so just stay away from that one crouching tiger hidden chimera is nice in fights where you know you're going to have to be deterrence in a lot to maybe mitigate a lot of abilities um, next tier is Silence and Shot, Wham Sting, Intimidation. Uh, Silence and Shot in 5.4 will pretty much be baseline for Marksmanship Hunters, but nothing else. Um, but for now, in 5.3, we're going to be picking that over everything else. We're not really beginning to use our stun. One minute call down for three seconds. We have a lot of other people who can do things like that, such as Paladins. They've got Hodge, which is five seconds. And... Uh, yeah, you won't be needing this talent. Wyvern Sting's just a CC. You'll never be pretty much CC in ads in a raid. That can be CC'd. Most ads like elites can't be CC'd. Uh, and if it's ads that can be, they'll only have like 500k anyway, so you'll be able to pretty much one shot them. Next here is Exhilaration, Aspect of Hawk, Spirit Bond. Now in 5.3, it's damage taken reduced by 15%. In 5.4, it will be reduced to 10%. Since uh, a lot of people are complaining, so, like people like Shadow Priests and Boomkins uh, get like a, I think it's a flat out 10%, I can't remember if it's a 15 or 10% damage reduction. Uh, so we're getting a 10% as well just to balance it out. Exhilaration will be used in fights where you need big heals quickly. So if you drop to like 50k HP, then you're going to be wanting to pick this talent. So you just pop the per yourself up really quickly. Spirit Bond, well it's pretty much the most useless talent compared to the other two. Aspect of the Hawk, you just mitigate so much damage in a fight compared to anybody else. Spirit Bond is only going to heal and use to 2% of your health every 2 seconds, but in my opinion, overall fights you're going to be wanting to pick Aspect of the Iron Hawk. Next is Fervor, Dear Beast, Fear of the Hunt. At the moment, further, in my opinion, is a lot better. It's a 30 second cooldown, grants you 100 focus, 50 instant, 50 focus over 10 seconds. It's nice for that big burst, when, and then you can also reset with readiness. But in 5.4, I'm pretty sure that you cannot do this, so it's just going to be used once every 30 seconds. D Beast is pretty much just a BM talent, in my opinion. You get a lot more damage out of it being BM. Uh, this gives a nice amount of energy regen, but not enough. I prefer further a lot better. Fizzle Hunt, uh, the only time that you really want to use this is a really heavy AoE fight, such as at the moment Horridon. Uh, there's a lot of ads in that fight, so you want to be picking this talent for this, just for the you can get massive uh, AoE going. Next here, you got Murder of Crows, Blink Strike, Lynx Rush. Uh, you never want to, want to be using Link Thrush, no matter what, in survival. Blink Strikes has been changed, so it's no longer a usable uh, talent. You used to be able to use it every 20 seconds, and your pet used to be able to blink behind the target, dealing a, a set amount of damage. Now they've changed it just so your pet gets a flat out 50% damage increase from his claw, I think it is. And then. And then sometimes, of course, he will blink behind the target if it just runs away or whatever. A murder of crows is still it doesn't deal enough damage for me to think that it does more than my pet. Well, your pet, you, if you pick blink strikes, you'll be seeing a, a big, a big damage increase from your pet. So at the moment, I'd be picking blink strikes over anything. And the final tier is glaive toss, power shot, barrage. As I said in my BM uh, hunter guide, you don't want to pick power shot. It's the most useless talent. Just look at the cast time on it. Nearly two seconds for me, and that's currently I'm holding five two three gear. If you've got really low item level, 
that could be a free second cast and that's just terrible. Barrage will be used on fights where there's a lot of AoE going on. Um, such as again Horridon, you want to be picking Barrage for that fight. But on the single targets, you want to be picking Glavesos. Uh, glyph wise now, we're going to be using Glyph of Animal Bonds. You just get a flat out 10% damage, 10% uh, healing even, increase for immune your pet. Which is nice, it just helps the healers out a little bit. Glyph of Disengage, increase the distance travelled when you disengage. Uh, it can be used, you can use this, I use this just, just obviously for the extra length. Uh, of the disengage, but you can use other talents such as um, black ice. But a lot of the time, you aren't going to be really putting down your icy trap just for the 50% damage, uh, the movement speed increase for you. Glyph of Liberation is also nice when you disengage, you just get a 5% of your health heal. It's around, I think, 40k for me or something like that, so that's quite nice. For the miners, there's Nothing really special that's going to help you increase your DPS. Uh, I've just got marking just for the fun of it and stampede just again for the fun of it. Now we're going to get into the reforging. Obviously you want to be getting as much agility as you want. Then to expertise and hit to the cap which is 7.50%. Then you've got your three other stats which are crit, haste, mastery. Now it varies uh, if you've got this meta gem or not. This meta gem is from the legendary quest line, and this one for hunters, uh, warriors, and everything else uh, puts out just like a, a little lightning strike, which will deal a set amount of damage um, depending on your stats. And this also scales on haste. With the crit build that I was doing, I was getting around seven to eight percent lightning strike would do. Uh, with the haste, however, I was doing 12 to 15 percent, so it's a big damage increase that Lightning Strike is doing with haste since it scales off haste. But I still think it doesn't do enough for me. We want to be getting around 530 item level with this meta gem before going haste. So if you've got this meta gem and you're 530 plus, you want to be going haste to crit to mastery. However, and if you're not, if you're 530 and below, if you're 530 below. Even if you do have this meta gem, you want to be going crit to haste to mastery. Now, gemming wise, it's pretty much just agility. Like you see here, I've got a mastery socket, which is next to useless for any of the specs of hunters. You just put in full red sockets. Anything that you get like a bonus from with like agility or crit with like a high amount of crit then you want to be gemming it. Uh, I'll put the what you should be going for somewhere up in the top, top right hand corner or somewhere. Now we're going to get into the rotation. It can be pretty complex at the start. It is pretty complex like the burst uh, but eventually you'll get the hang of it. So obviously we want to be putting our hunters mark up at the start of the fight we always want to be using our serpent sting obviously glaive toss which will then get our procs stampede rapid fire with trinkets if you have any uh, I use you should be obviously pre-potting but if you don't pre-pot just put it into this macro then you fire off a black arrow explosive shot one or two arcane shots depending on how much your um, focus regen is a fervor a readiness glaive toss explosive shot by now you probably should have a lock and load proc obviously you want to be using those as quickly as possible when black arrow is about to time out you put that back on again when your rapid fire is about to come off you put that back on depending if you have blood loss or not since you, if you're using blood, using bloodlust with rapid fire, you usually don't obviously get the globals in, and it's uh, you don't really want to be using it. So you you want to wait after. But obviously at the start of the fight, you always want to be using rapid fire with bloodlust, just because you're going to use readiness anyway to get to get it back anyway. So now I'm actually going to show you the rotation. Um, 
excuse me if I don't talk since it's kind of like as I said it can be quite complex and to say at the same time so obviously at the start put our pet on Serpent Sting, Glaive Toss, Stampede, Rapid Fire, Black Arrow, Explosive Shot, Arcane Shot, Arcane Shot, Further. Now I've got the Lock and Load Prox, so I'm going to use them first, then Readiness, Glaive Toss, keep on Arcane. Rapid Fire is back up. I'm just going to keep on spamming the arcane shot. Now pretty much all of our cooldowns are over and we're just going to be keeping explosive shot on cooldown. Keeping black arrow when we can. Lock and load, just keep that on. Glaive toss on cooldown. Saving further can be a good idea if you know you're not going to be... If you know you're going to be short of that uh, focus for either explosive shot or black arrow. But you obviously don't want to like, wait like 10-15 seconds for you. You want to be using it pretty early, but if you know you're not going to hit the next black arrow explosive shot for the next two seconds, then just save it for a little while. Now, obviously, at the start, you saw that I my serpent sing ran, and I didn't use my cobra shot. That's because focus regen can be massive with bloodlust and rapid fire. In my opinion, you don't want to be using that cobra shot, as you can see now. Cobra shot deals around 52k crit. Let's see if I can just get a non crit. 24k, not that much. If I if you could put in like a um, an extra arcane in that, and then this 84k there, nearly 40k non crit. So in my opinion, when you're bursting, to reapply serpent sting, just cast it again. It doesn't really matter. Your focus is just ain't gonna like dip down or anything. Just from using cobra shot, you're gonna be top focus anyway. So you're not gonna be really gaining any focus or anything. Uh, so yeah, just reapply it with Serpent Sting and carry on bursting with everything else. Now, if you're doing AoE rotation, it's not really that hard. I don't really need to even mention it in this video. But all it is pretty much, as I said before, what you should be going for if there is heavy intensive fights with AoE. Three of the Hunt and Barrage. And then all you want to be doing is pretty much just spamming that multi-shot. That's pretty much it. And then Barrage on cooldown. If you prefer further over Thrill of the Hunt, and maybe you don't, you don't think that you're getting as much proc as your item level with Thrill of the Hunt, just go for pure further, and you can just spam multi shots, multi shots, barrage on cooldown further, and then just keep on spamming those multi shots again. Um, with rapid fire, it's a nice idea to have that up whilst doing multi shots, since your focus regen is going to be a lot higher. Obviously, you want to be keeping your explosive trap on the target. Depending if they move or not though, uh, if they're going to be constantly moving, there's no point in you putting that explosive trap down. You may as well just use the global for just casting a cobra shot or anything, because you're going to get probably one tick or something off maybe 5 to 10 mobs, and it's not going to be as beneficial if they're going to be constant moving. But if they're, on, if they're just constantly standing still, as the target dummy is now, just obviously put it on it, and then it will just... Uh, last around 20 seconds get load you'll get lock and load procs quite a lot but if it's an AOE fight obviously you don't want to be using them so yeah guys that's my survival hunter guide for 5.3 and 5.4 if I've missed anything out give me a comment in the comments and I'll answer you as fast as possible uh, eventually I'm going to be wanting to get through all the classes and specs since I have pretty much every class and spec at level 90 at the moment so it may take me obviously a period of time since it's every class in spec. Eventually I will get through it all. But anyways, if you've liked this video, give me a like, comment and subscribe. Peace.